Yeah. What? Cutting back in early. Oh, camera. Wait. <laughs> there we go. Oh my god. I was like, I swear I turned it on. Hmm. Play an inscription. I, I don't know anything about this game, and I'm told that that's the right way to experience it. So just go in, not knowing anything, and let it play its magic tricks upon you. Yeah, Loof, that, that one clip with like... Oh, hold on a second. That one clip with... Uh, sorry, sign up for Wealth Run, everybody. Um, that one... <laughs> why is your desktop image just potatoes in the winter? Yeah, just three potatoes and a little, little snow... Abominable snowman back there? I don't know, I don't think that's me. I think that's just a screenshot I found online. I don't think any of those are me. But, it's a cute photo, so that's probably why I saved it. Hey, Pop-Tart, good to see you. I'm playing The Witcher 3. Oh, ooh. That's a good accompaniment for this stream, I'd say. The game is very easy to get spoiled in. I may recommend you look at chat sparingly. It's very vulnerable yet... Oh, wait. It's very vulnerable to the yet protocol. Oh, did they do blank yet kind of thing? Okay. Understandable. Well, let me hear... Let me do what I can, put a little disclosure in the title there. I have to admit though, like, mm, I guess something like this would be good to not have, not have spoiled in any way, right? People seem to okay. say that it's, it's time to figure out what's on this thing. that kind of thing, that kind of game. Oh yeah, um, since Steph is a, is an angel, uh, she ordered... She ordered a Chipotle bowl for me, and it's on its way. So I'm, I'll probably only be able to play for about 15 to 20 minutes. Then I'm gonna throw that bowl back. I'm gonna unhinge my jaw and just pour it back into my stomach, and then it's it's go time. <laughs> Don't refresh stream. Won't see. Ooh, Clippy with the VIP or ban. Clippy, you're always wonderful to have around. You have actually earned VIP. I'll acknowledge it. But let's see what fate has to say. Yeah! Hey, good job, Clip! You've earned it? And we get to see the potatoes again? <sighs> There's a new VIP. Look at that guy there. <laughs> Congratulations, Clippy. Uh, alright. Hey, American Man. Hey, thank you for the prime. Happy to see my favorite streamer play a new favorite game. Yeah, I, I I don't think I've talked to anybody. Oh. I don't think I've talked to anybody that um huh, uh doesn't like this game, you know? Or or has anything less than wonderful things to say about it. Um since it is running in full screen, let me know if it if you guys see uh visual tearing. Shouldn't be an issue. But let me know if it is. Every couple of months, Twitch reminds me of the rules. Thank you for, again, promising to not be a dick. Alright, well, I guess we're continuing then. One of those, like, get killed by the end boss at the beginning kind of games. Oh, man. I love this art style already. Yeah, Clippy can uh, Clippy can move the tassel over. Clippy's been in uh, in in the school of Twitch chat for a long time. Look at that pretty diamond. Yeah, I actually um, someone that I commissioned some art from made a VIP badge without me realizing that you couldn't change how the VIP badges look. Love how good the streams always look over here. Hammer, I'm glad to hear that. Uh, I did invest some effort into into. T dialing in like the encoding settings and the bit rate and the audio mix and all that so if people subscribe where you were away oh i did oh yeah look at that you did pop tart oh and definitely give out five subs oh you guys i'm sorry i didn't i didn't check and clippy with the resub thank you all very much Aww. Aww. all the stream regulars showing up it's good to see you guys this guy's got hypnotodides ah we talked about it before just always appreciate it well thank you thank you that feels good Okay, the squirrel card. What if I don't, though? What if I put... Oh. Okay, I guess I... Oh, I don't have enough bloods. Alright. Cool. 
that little guy. Man, these sound effects are, are rad. Hope I understand this game on a work call and no audio. Well, if your work call finished, I'm sure I can summarize it for you. Yeah, this looks quite interesting. It's got it's got atmosphere already. This like oppressive look at this cardboard and this the sound design. These animations are all very punchy too. Look at that hand. This like hyper pixelated filter shader that's been used in a lot of like boomer shooters and stuff. I'm super into it. It is sort of that um Kind of that like grainy late 90s PC look. It's become its own aesthetic. Hmm. Ah, that doesn't help. Yep. Guessing if I attack with a stoat, it dies. I mean, it said it had two less health, but I don't know how much health it has. I guess I'll find out. Oh, that was lucky. This horrible thing is... This whole thing is very, uh, very polite. Yeah, I just started Mega Dirk. I don't know anything. Is there a way to go full screen on PC with chat visible? You mean like on one monitor? Um, there are utilities you can use to, uh, I think make particular windows always on top. Um, oh, are you, oh, you're referring to, um, viewing on Twitch. Are you on mobile? <laughs> Yeah, theater mode plus F11 is about as close as you can get. Um, mobile has has a mode which is kind of bizarre where it, like chat is at half opacity on top of the stream, um, which is a little a little strange. But so it has one attack and six health. I thought this had one health and then it took two damage, so it's kind of weird that it's doing just fine. Oh. Are you worth- you're worth two bloods. Okay, so I can change you for a... Commander Moose, thank you for the Prime. Thanks for the year of entertainment, Lawrence. Favorite stream memories are watching you beat Doom Eternal on Ultra Nightmare and watching Chunkity Girls in Witcher 3. Yeah, I need to do like a long form, sort of progressively modded playthrough again. That was a lot of fun. It had three health and then took two damage. Okay, okay. Sacrificing it doesn't kill it? So you just get a free blood every turn? That seems really good. Although, this poisons? We're bearing this sigil sacrificed, it does not perish. Ah. Huh. Which is another creature that creature bear. This is... But I guess it takes up one of your spots, right? So you can only have four cards out at once. Yeah, I don't know why they'd want to follow me. Got the one thing you got going for you is that I can kill you over and over. Loading me up with like all the cheating items. 
I love well done card games. I became addicted to Gwent when I played The Witcher 3. Didn't enjoy the standalone Gwent game they released though, but too different from the Gwent and The Witcher. I, I really enjoyed playing uh, Gwent and, and Witcher 3 as well. Um, what, uh, the, I think, I don't know if this is end game for games within games, but good god, Triple Triad and Final Fantasy XIV is, can be a nightmare. <laughs> I do like, every time I pass an NPC, I'll like win a match or two and I still don't have that many cards. Let's see, do randomizers at some point if you can, can't figure out long form mod run of a game? Hmm. That wouldn't be so bad. Like doing a, I particularly like uh, randomizers that maybe ratchet up difficulty quite a bit too. Um, I never did finish my my ultra difficult Final Fantasy VII run. I need to get on Final Fantasy IX too. Play that presently. Why? I mean, this is the narrative part of it. Oh, that's kind of neat. Okay. Huh. Man. Oh, it has one blood cost. Oh, okay. That's the cost. Is that also the, um... Is that also the way... Okay, so this is what you get when you sacrifice it. You get one heart. And that's what you need to... That's what this cost is? Wait a minute. Let me... I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. I don't, I don't want anyone to like feel like they gotta over explain something. Ages swiftly. Oh. I only have one squirrel in the bottle, but I can summon this by with the cat, so I can at least put the stoat down no matter what. Once the stoat is down, I won't be able to move. I won't be able to place any more cards. So here, instead of the stoat, let me put down the wolf by doing this. This wolf seems like a better card, but that means the wolf has to get through a stump. And yeah, what you gonna do? Um. Okay, you can just look it up. Last time I played eight, I was at the part where the CDHQ was about to get shot by missiles, I think. Couldn't, couldn't remember what I was doing, so I stopped playing. Oh man, it only gets more what the hell's going on from there. That's like when the plot still kind of makes sense. I have to admit, it was an interest, like, playing eight around the time that Evangelion sort of came out too, those were two games that had sort of very, uh, non-literal stories at some point. They just got very ephemeral. So... Well, okay. Ooh! Yeah, that was a lot. That was a lot of damage. So... I can't do anything about that. <laughs> Strike me directly with a bat. Um, I mean, I'll do three damage this turn. I don't know if that's enough to... Yeah, I'll do three... So it's... Yeah, it scales. You have to just, like, be ahead by so much. Oh. Oh, I didn't know I could hit it. All right, never mind. You leave a squirrel here, does the wolf have to attack the squirrel? Like, it's just a blocking... move? Your snapper killed the bat, I, I guess. I did not expect that to ha happen, but it did. All right. Hmm. 
I mean, wolves are wolves are good, but I don't have any flying parts, so maybe that's maybe that's better. Cover the functional gap in my army. Oh, it's crazy how it's all on this wooden table, and it's like a, a map that comes out. It's like the framing device does seem like it's people playing a a board game, you know, tabletop game. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Cat was really good to get my like my army up, but honestly, once I had some good cards out, Cat became a bit of a liability because I couldn't get rid of it. Um it was taking up a space that could be an attacking card. Cat is good. Yeah, you're right. I do like Cat. Cat's cute. Huh? Oh. <laughs> I do also like this sort of like, uh, always reminds me of, um, Papers, Please, and then way before that, games like Uplink. I've been told that, um, that, uh, oh God, what? Subnautica has a similar thing where, like, the game presents itself, it presents its mechanics, and then it tells a story under that, like, a layer of gameplay. Um, I'm always, I'm always a fan of games that sort of, like, it's almost like a magician's trick. They wiggle their hand over here like, look, it's a card game, but then there's a narrative that actually kicks up in the middle of it. Okay. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. A flying stoat. Cool. Subnautica's amazing in that way. Yeah, I really owe Subnautica more of my time, because um, I, I love games that do that shit. Oh. Neat. Inscribes with an I. Very odd. Okay, so all of your wolves fly. Damn it, they're both flying though. They're gonna do it's gonna do two damage to me. I guess Stoke can block one of them. Got three health, so we can take one of these hits. This one has more attack, so. Yeah, here we go. So that's it. Why is inscribed with an I odd? Because it's spelled with a Y in the game title. Right? I think. Ow! Wait, what? I thought I could block with a flying creature. Shucks. If this is cat, then I'm good. Actually. Where did my also where did my fucking Oh! Jesus Christ! <laughs> I did not know that's what that was for. Okay. Ah. Uh, um. I don't. I don't understand how this. I guess flight just means you can attack first, no matter what, right? Is that what that means? Hey. Right. So I could. It's. I can't really do anything. Okay, I lose, right? Yeah. Players always attack directly. Okay. Is there any is there any way to block a flying unit? Ooh. Oh, sick. Ah, Jesus fucking Christ, why are you there looking at me like that? Would you weirdo? You're about to spoil? No spoils! Explicitly no spoils. Oh, we got environmental puzzles? Tap, tap. That's so good!
Ooh, okay. No more mistakes. I don't want to get sacrificed. I love him. Okay, that's why. I need to just... I need to just... Trust in the game. Hello. Hello, little guy. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. I take this. Is that supposed to like is that a suggestion on what to uh what to take? A cozy campfire seems good. I just had a traumatic experience. But that's not gamer. Us gamers, we do things the hard way on purpose. We blaze the trails, no one else will. I'm clicking on this evil thing. Oh, it's the altar. Okay. Um. I can give flight defense to... Oh, it has so much health. Yeah. No one's killing this thing. Yes. Stalwart defender of the swamp. Flying turtle. Or 20 blaze that trail? Exactly. Gamers get high on dank weed and they explore. That's what they do. That's just how it goes. It's just what gamers do. Squirrel. What do we got coming out? Eww! Okay. Got six health and four attack. That's a lot. That's a whole lot. I should put the cat in the way. I can summon six health and four attack. That's a lot of health, bro. Shit. Need more, need more giant trees. What? Fuck me. Okay. All right. I've got at least two turns now. Fist. Basically, all I can do. <laughs> Thanks, stout card. Appreciate you. You're actually gonna save the game for me, buddy. Yep, back on the board. Hopefully, flying creatures can defend. Yeah, I appreciate that. Shoot. Um. If I if I close the turn, my wolf attacks and I win, right? Maybe now I need a cozy campfire? Can you get up anytime you want? Yes, yes you can. Did I get a haircut? Uh, I got one last week for the Halloween Free Fire Trick or Treat Spooktacular. Oh dear. Oh shucks. Well, at least the one on the table. So, yeah. Lights or stupid eyes. Those seem like s suspicious patterns. 
A dude is removing teeth when he loses? It's a way to get points back. Some of these little interactables kind of remind me of the Room series for mobile. really like that. I need that wizard staff so bad. Alright, fine. Uh, I don't know what backpack is. I had to get a root canal last month. Ripping out teeth sounds horrifying. Ugh, God, I'm sorry to hear that. Wait, what was the... Oh, no! Shit. I wanted to... I clicked too much. I clicked so much. <laughs> How do you feel about this stoat? I don't think they're going to be able to eat a grizzly. So I'm sending in the grizz. Yeah. Alright. Grizzly not ate. I'm not going to eat nothing. Now I got an unstoppable grizzly. Ah. Chill mist descended. Does this change the atmosphere in the entire room? That'd be cool. That's so great. It's on a little mask. It's like the best, best DM you'll ever have. somewhere else. Card bearing the still move in the direction. Huh. But like scoots down. Interesting. So it's like a roving, roving blockade, basically. Hey, wait. It can move forward and attack on the same turn. Okay. Grinding rock sounds now. Why are you a different color now, bud? What's going on here? Are you, did you increase in rarity? Can you also? I guess you can't step away in the middle of a match. Okay. Figured out the meta yet? Not yet. But yeah, Stinky Pete's here. Oh, Stinky Pete! God, this overblown music is so great. You gotta win twice. Ah. Oh! No! No! Um. Yeah. Yeah, there is no room for that card to write. Okay, so you just stockpile cards and wait for the attacks to come through? Interesting. I think I, I, think I understand. Huh. All right. So I can put the. Cause I'll just have to drop a squirrel in the other spot. I can do a stowed in one, and then a squirrel in the other. Uh, our attack is one, and life is three. Okay. Well, I can at least last more than one turn in this spot. Those creatures placed opposite to an empty space. Car bearing the sigil will move to that empty space. Oh, okay. All right. It's not an issue here. <laughs> I 
I mean, I'll at least last for more than one turn. Unless that card is going to shove this one here. Will they trade spaces? I guess I'll find out. Oh, it went the other way, right. Um... Shit. So it's gonna be gone next turn, and I'm gonna have nothing to sacrifice. Like, I have to leave this here. I'm gonna get one more damage, but then I'm, I'm basically screwed. I've got nothing going on here. Yeah, all I can do is, like, buy time now. Because the... Uh... Yeah, no stout. Can't summon anything. That's it. That's all I got. Like, how can I, how can I ever get ahead now? Like, I'll never have, like, enough cards to put something on the board. Yeah, Matt, first run, so I'm kind of, I'm kind of, kind of sunk. Alright then. Oh, don't touch me with your creepy hands. With your creepy, crusty hands. got four blue eyes white dragons yeah please lend me one so that I can avenge my dad use a card to draw the cost from I mean the same cost so crack the sigils Huh. Okay, cool. Wait. Hmm. <laughs> Mukbang. That is a nice card. Yeah, that's a good-ass card, isn't it? Perhaps I can understand bones. <laughs> Gain a bone. Okay. Alright. Hello, Stoat. How's it going? Aw. Stoat doesn't look too happy. Let's say hi to Stoat again. Hello, Stoat. Yeah. <laughs> Get in there, Stoat. Yeah. Oh, we got a rattler. Jesus Christ. Um. I couldn't get out Wolf, but it'll require sacrificing Stoat. I think I got to do it. All right, buddy. Or I could just drop the squirrel to block the rattler. But that won't be for one turn, so that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, Luckburn. Hello and welcome. Oh! Jeez. 
Jeez. out of cards. Okay. Oh! A tooth to keep for each damage dealt. Trapper may be interested in your spoils. Okay. So if you overkill, you get currency to, like, buy upgrades and stuff? Haha. <laughs> You unlike different ones? Dave's rumbling this time. Overkill. Ooh. Oh, okay. All the things you've unlocked? This game has a real, real cozy vibe. Nefarious Rattler. Unkillable cockroach returns to your hand after dying and makes four bones. These are these are bone creators. Jeez, big bone boys. Or is that the cost? That's cost. Okay, never mind. Oh, that's right. Each each animal makes one bones. Interesting. But it, it comes back into the hand. Okay, so it's like if you're generating a lot of bones, this is just a safe way. God, it's created in your hand. <sighs> That's gonna burn through a lot of bones. I guess it's good for blocking. I guess the bones creatures don't tend to have very good stats, which makes sense. I go with it. Just because I, I can like probably transmute that ability to uh, another card after I die. Thanks for all the items. All right. All right, look at this hand. Look at this hand. Good hand. I'm gonna have my frog kill a wolf cub. It's gonna be rad. Ding! Maybe I stockpile some squirrels here. A ding again. Dead. This moves forward. It's gonna attack though. Ow, ow. What? The stump hit me. Uh. Wait. When do stumps attack? I don't understand. I guess it has no attack, but then as long as it has one attack, it, it can attack? Shit. Damn it. I needed that. Fuck. Well, I can sacrifice a squirrel this turn and get a cockroach. Wait, can you sacrifice without... Yeah. Damn it. Fuck. Do I have to let the squirrel die? So I can summon a cockroach. Shit, man. And then I guess I can sacrifice a cockroach and a squirrel in one turn? Get a wolf out? Okay. Okay, and then this should kill the alpha, which will make the stump stop hitting me. God damn it. <laughs> so ridiculous. Wait, why do I get to draw again? Oh, no more cards. Okay. I guess that means I I won. Or I guess maybe if you wanted to be gamer, 
you would try to engineer the biggest overkill in a single turn that you could. Getting beat up by a stump? Yeah! And which... Oh! Look at all this! I mean, he wasn't playing around. Look at all these blue eyes as white dragons as... Why do they have different, like, stars? Are they from different, uh... Series? That one looks shiny. Yeah, the shine, right? Oh, those, those must be worth, like... Those must be worth, like, a million dollars. Me! Of course I'm taking my card. Come on. Alright. I could put myself by the fire and make myself even stronger. This is a good idea. There's no way. There's no way they're gonna do it. Boom! Look at that six attack. I'm out of here. Later, losers. Oh, yeah, okay, fine, I'll stand up. So many puzzles to click on here. Ah! I don't know what that's all about. God, those eyes really good yeah nomad the uh the card system is like simple enough that you can like get up get going and get into some interesting kind of gameplay scenarios pretty quickly ah god damn watch right up until I need to record a funeral so that's how my day is going Oof, go deep or go dead I am sorry to hear that sounds like gonna be a rough day my card is oh no I just you can sacrifice it that's right and it stays so I just need to get you out next turn I can get you out but I'm gonna have to take a hit from both of these I think I'm gonna take four gosh darn damage. I don't know if that's enough to kill me in one shot. But this character also can't defend against flying. So, I don't know. Here. Oh, I can't get up from the table. That's right. Not, not now. Christ. So, so mad. I think I die next turn. There's really no getting around it. Uh... Stoat is flying, but not- wait. Stoat was flying. Okay, I think I'll at least kill that one. Okay. So... They should be able to attack both of those and keep me alive. But then next turn this is gonna roll up and hit me for two damage and I'm I'm sunk. I'm pretty sure. Jeez. Thoughts on the new battlefield game with the new trailers? I don't think I've seen any new trailers. Yeah, Kornoth, you enjoyed the Halloween stream? Oh, 273. Well, that was easy. I'm very glad to hear that. I had a great time. Bruce did an incredible, incredible job producing. Um, ooh. 
Hello. Hello. What the heck is this? Oh! Yeah, I don't think I actually quite grasped what was going on there. I, yeah, I don't, yeah. Huh? <laughs> Are these just like turns and you have to Keep on So that's locked in place. Okay. I feel like I probably have what I need to know to solve that now. Hmm. So it's, this is my hand. This is my line. This is their line. Ah, you can brute force these? I did, yeah. But to solve properly, you need to know the sigil meanings. Okay. I mean, I... I know some of them. Flying, flying defense. I don't quite know Lizard Tail. Probably regen, I'm gonna guess. Like, regen's a health every turn. But I won't worry about it yet. What I will worry about is food. I'm pretty sure my Chipotle bowls arrived. So I'm gonna go chow down on that. And I'll be back in, like... Uh, 30 minutes or so, maybe less, but more cards, and then after this, and I'm really enjoying this game so far, but after this, I'm gonna get back to Doom Eternal, explore the new patch some. Also, I have to, I have to apologize, I missed a couple subs. Tame, thank you very much for the Prime, and Co Cosmic Slop, thank you for the resub. Appreciate y'all. Alright, I'll be back in a bit. I need to also change Media Tech to be, to fit the day's theme a little more, so I'm gonna do that. One, one second. Yes, what? I got half of a half of a burrito bowl in me. My my brain is percolating. Uh, this video actually makes me really happy. My girlfriend's profession is dedicated to helping people enjoy life like they used to. That's great. That's great. Yeah, the uh, for context, um, there's like a really old interview for one of the. Um, I think it was it was called PGA Tour. EA's golf series uh, before I think before it was Tiger Woods uh, PGA Pro Tour like 95 96 anyway uh, they were doing esports leagues for it back then it wasn't really called esports but they were doing cyber competitive leagues whatever 
and they had an interview with somebody who had muscular dystrophy in the clip, uh, sort of talking about how they used to, you know, play sports and used to be competitive. And uh, it's just a degenerative nerve disease. And it, you know, obviously precludes somebody from living an active and physically competitive lifestyle. So it was, it was a really cool clip because it's like from the mid nineties talking. Uh, and even then you can sort of see the phenomenon of people uh, finding ways to explore worlds and remain competitive and keep mentally engaged in like, really it's just games increasing um, quality of life for people. I'm a big sucker for that sort of thing. How did you find such an old video of George Wood that was such high quality? That was beautiful. Uh, there is a channel. It is like a forgotten YouTube channel that has a ton of really old flights of fantasy uploaded to it. Um, it's weird because it got rebranded as gaming in the Clinton years by another YouTube channel. They like would throw that, those bumpers around it. That channel has some of it, uh, but there's even more. There's tons more George Wood out there. Uh, and occasionally, George Wood likes to hip fire when a, you know, a hot gamer take. His takes are always, always aggressive, always accurate. Will you do a paranormal investigation with Bruce in the future? I have no idea. Um, I, I don't know. The, uh, the ghost hunt was, was all Br Bruce hustling and like putting together, uh, the production and the pitching and he worked with Twitch for that stuff. So really it's down to like, if, if Twitch, uh, wants to fund a production like that, maybe, uh, I, I hope for Bruce's sake they do. I hope, uh, I don't know what this is. I'm curious about this. Decide the cost you wish to pay. Oh. Ah, interesting. <laughs> I feel like I need more one drippy cards. Any idea what the name of that channel was? Uh no, it's something generic. Oh, that's kinda cool. That's actually a really good card. I think I managed to, like, rip the whole channel while it was there. <laughs> so this is taking an ability. Oh, wait. I want to know what... Oh. The card bearing the sigil would be struck. A tail is created in its place, and a card bearing the sigil moves to the right. Card bearing the sigil... A card. Any card? That's interesting phrasing, and I don't know that I quite understand it. Uh, okay. Leader seems like a really good ability. I would love it and think fans would love it. I don't disagree. I don't disagree. Often with, like... With with things like this, actually skink skink leader would be good. I, skink has a decent amount of health. Um In production it's often not a question of just finding a good idea and then putting money on it. Uh it is trying to judge what ideas would like hit in a given environment at a given time. So if, if like, paranormal investigation things got, like, popular on Twitch, I think then that's when the wind's at your back. So, I Bruce kind of pitched these streams as, in real life, Phasmophobia. Because Phasmophobia does really well on Twitch. So that's kind of the idea. So if there's some instance of, uh... Circumstantial benefit. Yeah, Yondo, that... If, if you're going to put your money behind something that, like, audiences don't currently, like, they're not currently popping for, like, if, if it's the same amount of money either way, why wouldn't you target the thing that everyone seems like they're into at that exact moment? Made myself sad the other day. I forgot I uploaded a kind of crappy quality video of my old dog on YouTube as a test a years back. Ah, uh, yeah. Those accidental moments of, like, digital preservation. You're like... Those blind sides of nostalgia when, like, Facebook or, or somebody auto-generates an email saying, Uh, you know, five years ago, you were doing this. Wish you a happy Monday. It's nice to sleep to your voice. Well, thank you, Flip Shrimp. Glad I can, uh, glad I can mellow people out. That 
is true. So there's a whole cast of like characters in the cards that I guess you communicate, or that communicate the story. That's an interesting way to do it. Uh, let's see here. I'm gonna take out that alpha. It's gonna. It's it's wild that in the same turn. Well, I guess this is this is the turn that that I have to prep, but like I have to take a hit. Unless I guess if I put if I used a squirrel bottle. I guess you don't know how many cards are following this either. That's what's that's what's interesting and unique about this, I think. One of the fundamental differences is that the dungeon master can play one more, more than one card a turn and only has like a limited number of cards. So you're not really playing cards, you're kind of like playing a video game level. You're playing like a customized challenge that requires some amount of like knowledge and foresight, like a planned thing for you to navigate. That's really interesting. I don't know that I played a card game quite like that. Where the, like, you play in turns, but uh, that, that's like almost JRPG territory. Oh, there's a spooky spider on the board! Oh! Okay. Uh, neither of you fly. So, well, I'm gonna take... Uh, I'm gonna take that hit no matter what. And if there's a creature here, then it won't hit me at least, but I'll take two damage. And then the next turn I can drop something here. It's got two health. Okay, so I need things that do two attack, basically. God damn it. <laughs> Nothing does two attack. Or they'll both do two attack when you're out. Okay. And then I'll do one and this will do two. Okay. So I want skink here. And then next turn, drop stowed here, and then I'll take two damage, but then I'll be in the clear, at least from there. And I'll be able to summon a stink bug, too. What does stinky do? Creature opposing card bearing the sigil loses one power. Oh, okay. Look how the book moves. Okay, all right. Okay. So it splits. So if I if I put the stoat down, does that then mean I get like the tail gets attack? Does it give attack to the to the tail like it did to the stump? It seems like it does. A little misplay, bro. What? Oh yeah, I guess you're right. It has two attack. Yeah, you were supposed to be here to two attack. I thought this would apply to itself for some reason. Well, I've got stink bug. And, oh, you should be able to kill that. I have first attack, it attacks me, I go down to one health, I attack again. Or though, wait, it's gonna hit me one more time, that's right. Okay. I guess if I put this down, I do another damage. Yeah. It's good to at least, like, even out the scales. So I'll do two damage this time. And then take two damage, three damage maybe next turn? Yeah, that's awesome. Okay. Ah! Hey, okay, okay. Something to summon. Okay. That works. I don't, that can take out the alpha. And the stoat will kill that. I'll take a hit from the coyote, which is two damage. Uh, 
the next coyote behind it. Oh, geez, I didn't know that. Well, that's very handy. Ugh, okay. I have two things I can sacrifice, and it looks like this is the last card. It's got one health. So as long as I summon something that can do damage, I think I'll be okay. Oh, that's interesting. That's actually really nice. Okay, this again plays into the notion that, like, it's not really... You're not really fighting AI in a card game. You're playing a, pr a pre-built level. So when you hit a win condition, there's no reason to like... Yeah, that's really cool. It's kind of like... Uh, some JRPGs have mechanics like that. Like a quick finish or uh, an auto win. Where, like, mechanically you'd have to try to lose kind of, kind of situation. Okay. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. I thought that... That's the one I get for free? Oh. Okay. There may be reasons to finish them anyway. Right! I actually had already kind of speculated about that. About trying to uh, strategize the, the biggest overkill. To stack up currency. Which I, I really love. I love any game that has a mechanical... Like, has mechanical overstretch. Like, if you want to over-deliver, if you want to overperform. Or if you want to try to express skill above what's mandatory to beat the game, we have a mechanical catch to reward that. Excuse me. Sorry, I'm sipping on a little, I'm sipping on a THC soda. A little elegant uh, blood orange drink. Uh, but yeah, I'm I'm such a sucker for that. It's kind of the it's one of the reasons I really like Doom Eternal. I mean, rhythm games are kind of like this. Uh, like Spelunky 2. So I really haven't played Spelunky 2 that much. Uh, when it first came out, that game was just brutally difficult. Like, just couldn't even figure out what I was supposed to do difficult. There were just so many enemies, even in the first zone. So maybe I need to give Spelunky 2 more time. Because I, I do think that they patched it to be a little less absolutely ridiculous. I did say THC Soda, yeah. They sure are. The state of California is a wonderful place. They're, uh... Things get pretty civilized here, which is pretty nice. Splunky 2 is a motherfucker. Yeah, it was, like, brutal. It was just, like, mean. Uh, with the... There would, like, be six enemies bouncing around the screen all at the same time. It just got ridiculous. I don't plan on giving a play-by-play. -play. Okay, uh... JR Outsider, or J Routesider, either one. Uh, I, yeah, in games like this, I'm probably not even gonna look at chat too much, or deeply consider what, uh, what, what, what input people have. <laughs> so, usually, uh, I don't, honestly, in those circumstances, for the, it's usually for the sake of the other people in chat. <clears throat> oh, I should use items. Okay. Oh, hello, little fella. Oh, look at you! Hey! I wonder if that gives you a random item. But you know, I have to admit though, I have, I have mellowed way out <laughs> in terms of like backseating and stuff. I used to be pretty militant about maintaining the purity of my experience with the game. But I've since come to acknowledge that like, why would you be on Twitch if you don't want the experience to be shared and merged? And, fundamentally, that is better than playing a game in a vacuum. I just had a weird, um, weird kind of emotional attachment to it, because that's always how I used to play games, just a very solitary experience. I have no idea and continue to have no idea what is going on in this game. Yeah, I'm okay with that, though. It really could be anything. But the, uh, the manner in which they reveal it is really interesting. Again, like, straight up, 
I, this is the same technique used by Hades, and I'm really glad that when Hades kind of did it, that other games started to do it too. Actually, I guess Diablo 3 kind of did it a little bit with the way that it would generate like random side quests, Left 4 Dead kind of, uh, with the way it would deliver dialogue, but I'm super into games with roguelite aspects. Um, having story delivery be like peppered in alongside all the other random aspects. So in Hades, you do your run and maybe you get some dialogue with whatever boons you pick up, but then you go back to uh, like the waiting room uh, and then you have dialogue with characters. And in that dialogue, like you actually progress certain storylines and understand more about stuff. So it, mix, it mixed in the random delivery of story with the random progression of the game, which was just so beautiful, so sick. And that's kind of the tack this game seems to be taking. What's really cool is when uh, when the game drops some breadcrumbs and invites you to follow them, and then kind of makes the discovery of the story your own accomplishment. Uh, of course, it's illusionary, but you know it's a video game, so. Uh, so yeah, cool stuff. You play BPM? Yes, I really do. I really do enjoy it. Uh, I want to play it more. Did it ever get 1.0? Or I, I think I played a demo, something like that. Two damage. I don't know. I, I need to leave in the heart of the cards here, I think. One damage? Ah, it's gonna kill if it moves up next turn. That's so weird. So, like, okay, so my options are I have two bone. I can drop the opossum here, and then I'll I'll absorb the first attack, but it'll kill the opossum. Um and then I just have to, I guess, hope I have another animal I can drop that turn. Uh or I can pat I can pass this turn. Let this kill the coyote. This moves up and attacks me once. I take one damage, but then I get to drop the opossum and kill it next turn. So it's it's like trading, absorbing damage to be able to clear cards from the board. And since you don't know how many cards are left, and it's not really a, a question of like trading turns until one of you wins, that becomes like a... Your health becomes a resource you can spend, um, which is interesting. So I can drop this here. Uh, there's no reason to put the squirrel down. And I guess I get... So, okay, let's see here. I guess this will move, and then that'll move forward. It'd be nice to be able to move this. Because <laughs> if I could just block it here, and then let the pack meal keep this off the board, too. I don't think there's any advantage to having the squirrel on the board before I need it to be. Okay, the, yeah, it did block the movement. Cockroacha. But like, if they never put a card here, then this is just a three-lane game. Uh, I guess Pack Mule might move over there, but like I can't do shit about it, and it'll never get cleared, so it's just like removing a lane from the match, which is a little interesting. Yeah, there's, there's probably... I, I'm sure I'll eventually get the ability to, uh, to deal with that. Yeah, that's so interesting. It's like, it's a really aggressive game. Um... With the, with the ability to move forward and attack in the same turn, or place an attack in the same turn. Okay. So if I sacrifice it, would it drop a, a tail? I'm covering the sigil struck. I don't know if sacrificing counts as striking. Such weird sound effects. It's all scrunchy. Oh, 
I might as well get a card worth summoning. Okay, yeah, what was this all about? Receive a random item as long as you have less than three. Yeah, uh, I mean, I guess I could just use an item and then play this immediately. Sure. Should use more items, I guess. Here, I'll use that to block the attack. Okay. Here's the idea. Alright. Grab the Kakarocha. Oh, let's see here. I want to summon the pack rat. It's two and two. Okay. So we can kill either of these. I might as well, yeah, summon the pack rat on this pain. So I want the cockroach and the squirrel out. Sacrifice both. Or the pack rat. Which goes here. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, and then I guess I'm going to take two damage next turn, but I'm ahead damage, so I think it'll be okay. How, like, since it's, since you have to be so much damage ahead, like, almost in a tennis-style way, can it just go back and forth forever? Do the teeth, like, overpile on the, on the scale? It'll be interesting to see. It's beautifully complex while appearing simple. It's constantly teaching you new things, but it never feels too overwhelming outside the general sense of dread that the game inspires. Yeah, it seems like something very sinister is, is writing on this card game. I bought this game while you were on dinner break. I'm torn out to watch for spoilers. Ah. Well, I mean, I'm... It seems like the kind of game where there will be things... Like, there will be events to discover over the course of, like, 30 hours or so. But maybe I'm, uh... Maybe I'm overestimating. Uh... Let's see. I can summon something with one attack. Then I can kill that. Uh, my tail is not going to keep this cub at bay. That's going to be a problem. All right. Can you? Are those things you can sacrifice? Because I could drop this cockroach here and kill the cub. But you have to like you have to be able to you have to have a card to summon to sacrifice. You can't just do it. Oh well, I guess I'll get bone coins regardless. Oh. Oh! Dagnabbit, my mule! Okay. I got a squirrel. Ooh. What the frick? Bearing the sigils played, a rabbit is created in your hand. A rabbit is defined as zero power and one health. Okay. You just get a non-stop parade of one health rabbits. This does kind of remind me of, like, thinking about attack and defense. It kind of reminds me of magic. And, and, like, using resources to summon cards. Some of which you use to attack, some of which you use to defend. Some of which you use to spawn attack or defensive things. Oh, you have a hard netting? Ooh, it's PG and it's also deeply hard netting. Uh, yeah, you could you could whisper me on uh, on Twitch, Twitter DM, that works too. But Discord works. I don't. I wonder which uh, which room that would be. I am interested though. I am interested in the deep nets. So I have two. I can draw another squirrel and then get a raven. Then I can drop a bone card in the other spot. Yeah. I'm use the possum to kill a coyote, and then I can use the raven to kill the wolf. If I draw another squirrel. But yes, that is what I can do. Okay.
Oh yeah, that's right. Forgot about this part. Ah, thank you very much, Doctor. I look forward to this. Oh, Dog Space, you're like eight hours in and enjoying it so far? Yeah, I'm only, gosh, what, like about an hour in at this point? So, still got a lot to learn and a lot to, a lot to do. I have a lot of bone cards, or a lot of bone coins. Yeah, you're exactly who I was hoping to see. Gotta help the cards remember their lives. Alright, get after it. Bust up them bones. Think about this. Summon a Warren. I can I can play the cockroach and the stink bug, I think. So I'll be covered and they do one damage. Yeah, that's not enough. So I'll be covered for that. If I drop the Warren, I'll probably, I'm trying to figure out if I need more sacrifices. I need more attack cards. I need more attack cards. <laughs> That makes it drop its attack. At least that'll keep me for two turns, which is not enough to kill it. Okay, well, at least I can stay alive. Do a little bit of damage. help. No one's attacking this gold! All I need to do is drop something with one attack there, though, and that'll take care of it. Okay. Oh, even the gold becomes a coin? That's kind of odd. Okay, so I can sacrifice the cockroach and a squirrel to get me on the board. And I don't think I have another thing to play after that. I could sacrifice myself then to put out the stone. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can put out the cockroach again. Oh, no! <laughs> well, I mean, that still works. Actually, that works great. <laughs> I forgot about that. The dog goes to a new... new thing if it can. Alright. Show me all them teeth. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Yeah. Most rare cards. Long elk? Is it just a horn? Uh. Oh my god. Ugh. So it moves? Okay. <laughs> is it does like the mushroom pop up over the recommended card is that kind of how that works thought it was an elk's body 
I see that there's like an elk head back here. And then just a long thing. <laughs> and it's like... I don't know, who knows? Oh, it shows if you have the card in your deck. Oh, thank you very, very much. Okay. Stinky Pete has been slain. Oh. What happens if it's against a wall? Does it not attack? Forward? Probably not. Hmm. What happens if you die now? Do you have to do the whole level again? I don't know. That's a good question. Usually, like... I'm gonna guess if... Since there's, like, overkill and an attack rolls through enemies and stuff... I'm gonna guess if you, uh... Like, the idea is once you have an overpowered deck, you can just roll through that. The first encounter, like, it's nothing. Oh, I have three items. Oh, hello, little fella. Hello, little fella. Actually, having a pack rat item is better. This one looks more evil, so let's check it out. Oh, that's what that means. Shit. The bugs are stinky. What is normal? Stinky bee. They reduce attack. I get, can you reduce attack below below one? Oh Christ! Okay, there's the rest of them. Shit. Stinky bee. I feel like I should wait. I'll take two damage, but no. Well. I guess there'll be one or it'll be zero damage no matter what. Keep me alive. I'm gonna try, bud. Sometimes it's not up to me, you know. All right, get in there and hurt somebody. Might be. Oh yeah, I made the tree attack. Nice. Ow. Uh, long elk is four bones. Cockroach four bones. Okay. Uh, he specif specifically requested I keep him alive. But I, re <laughs> I think I could give one more turn. I don't have enough bones. Uh, things are getting serious. Okay. I'm gonna have to sacrifice him. I have to. I think. Or maybe I just leave Squirrel there? No wait, Squirrel's not gonna protect me from anything. Well, maybe I can... Hold on a minute. Let's, let's yank out a tooth. Ow! That's fine. I just need one more turn so I can get I can get myself out, that's all. Alright, no problem. No bones, no bones day. They're going to attack me, like, forever. So I don't have... At least this... Okay. At least this turn, I'll hit and, like, balance out the scales a lot. That'll help. 
Yeah, look at that. Okay. Ugh. This is, this is a high velocity. Stakes are outrageous. Oh, bones cards. Okay. So I'll get that B. You'll attack. I'll still take a damage. That's okay, I'm still in lead. Not really anything else going on here. Nothing I can do. That's okay. Whew. Is this the whole game? Serious question. No, it is not, actually. Allow me to demonstrate. You can get up and, like, look around this spooky room. There's, like, environmental puzzles to solve. There's... Maybe I can take another look at this silly thing. So what... What's the idea here? Is this supposed to be, like, the next turn? But this can't move. So if this were the next turn, it would have to be here. But it's not. It's just... It just appears here. A 1-2 card with a tail breaky. And what, all, what does all this crap mean? Unless this is... Okay. This is one turn of the game. Where... You have to do five damage? Maybe that's what that means. No spoil. Yeah, no spoil. Sorry, I'm just talking out loud. Uh... So let's see here. This is the only piece that's locked in place, so it all has to sort of spawn off from that. Uh, yeah, n no worries, no worries, Arb. I'm uh, I am not angry about, but spoils. This game's nuts. It gets crazier though. Yeah, the reactions to this game have really uh really encouraged me to to want to check it out because everyone has like really strong and positive reactions about it oh don author thank you for the resub thank you very very much okay so okay so if i hit the ding then yeah i have to deal five damage so that would be this would kill this or this would hit it which would create a tail and move it over here potentially blocking this well, let's see here if those were all of my pieces Something like that. Just trying random stuff. So there's there's really no reason that that would be four. Why does it say one? Does that mean one is correct? And if so, I don't yeah, I don't know what correct means. Okay, sure. I, I still don't understand. <laughs> I got really lucky. Uh, I'm supposed to find. Uh, there's another talking card. To, oh god damn! God damn it! No, <laughs> no. So maybe this will make more sense. Okay. Uh, what did it? Why is this, f this five out of five? I guess this, yeah, this would do five damage. One, two, three, four, five. But this would do five damage too. Oh no, wait, it would create a tail and move it over and then that would block the three. Okay, I think I understand. I think I understand. Goal is to make it do five damage. All right. I don't know what bug does. Oh, I just picked up bug card. What's bug do? Bug card. Bug, 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 bug. Oh, there's like boons and so much shit in this game. I think I went the wrong way. Oh. Saw that. Ants. 
The value represented with this sigil will be equal to the number of ants the owner has on their side of the table. Okay, got it. Okay. Ant. Okay. Ant. Okay. So ants don't do any damage. Or, oh, I see, I see, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it, okay. The amount of damage ants does. Okay, I see. It says on the table, does that count the other side too? And does being here mean being on the table? Also, what happens when one of these takes damage but something's next to it? Does it just turn into a tail? That's two. That'd be four. Three. Four, five? Yeah. Okay. That was easy. <laughs> that was a lot easier than I thought it was. Oh, no! Oh, oh, little guy. Look at how much damage he can take. And look how much... Oh, no. That's so mean. That's a really good card, but damn, that's mean. It tells you so little? Yeah. It's just you need the courage to, uh, to explore, I guess. Alright, let's see here. That'd be one. Be here. I did that. Oh, I don't know what this thing is. Okay. Okay, so that means I have to hit this one, and it will create a tail over here. That icon means. Huh. Can't move that. Huh. You'll see what that thing means. Oh, barbed icon? Anything attacking it gets hit for one hit point. Okay, thank you. Huh. Okay. So if, if I attack it with this, it hurts me. Then maybe I don't create the tail. Which means the three damage can go through. There we go. Yeah. Without having met her, this wood carving is meaningless. Time you will understand its power. Okay. I guess there's a progression. Ah, Jesus Christ, every time. Progression element I haven't done yet. Wait. Is this giving me, like, bonus teeth for the run? <laughs> you found this too early, gamer. But at least they told you that. I appreciate games that find a way to communicate that. Doesn't seem like there's a whole lot else to do in the room at the moment. They did say there was another talking card to find, so there's that. <laughs> Kaminsky? Damn it! Still have full items. Oh, no, wait, that's right. Oh, that's cool. Oh, neat. Okay. I, uh, that's right, I forgot I yanked a tooth. Had to use the old tooth maneuver. Ants. Send in the ants. Those happy daffy ants. Hey! Dang it, I didn't think he was going to do a first turn. Shit. Ah. Uh, escalated quickly. Uh, shit! Fuck, oh, that always throws me for a loop that first turn, man. Uh, okay. I can take out these two. Save myself some damage, but then I'll die next turn. Damn it! 
a lot of damage. Ow! Fuck! Bopped. Completely thrashed. Good lord. Ugh. Ugh, what's over here? Ooh, that's fun. <sighs> All right. First, I will choose a trial. Three drawn cards must have at least six health combined to pass. Oh, that's kind of cool. Four attack power. Five bones. Oh, this is really neat. I think four attack power to three cards ought to be easy. Most of them have at least one. Look at that. Done. Ding, ding. Oh. Oh. Oh, my. So when it's a little sticker like that, does that mean it's only for the, like, this run that it has that ability? <clears throat> oh, that's a... That's a stonky card. A stonky, chonky card. I like the I like the sacrificing and not going away cards. Those are real nice. That's a dedicated DM. Yeah, right. Right. I should use. I had items. I'm not using items. They're right there. Uh, what ability do I want? So this is like two abilities. Do they both transfer? Oh, that's interesting. It moves and it poisons, and it has a lot of health, so it can it can take a lot of attacks. Okay, wow, yeah, they do. Oh, birds, that's what that I know. That's right. Okay, I gotta really gotta really get on my get on my business. Get on my stuff. What do we got going on here? Oh, uh, that's a lot though. Oh, thank you very much, Hannah. Thank you for the prime sub. Thank you for watching. Always wonderful to have around. Card is going to transform into a normal wolf, does it? No? It's a caged wolf. No attack, but it's got this thing. Uh, I mean, if I could get this out. The end of the owner's turn card bearing the sigil move in the direction described in the sigil. Does it wrap around? Or does it always go to the right? Because it could just make its way down the line. I guess it has to get touched. Damages another creature. Oh, it has to damage it. It will never do that. <laughs> never mind. That is a useless ability. Unless I put it next to the, uh, stoat. Let me see here. So the fur is going to protect me there. I can put an ant here. And then at least I, like, can absorb a hit. Well, I'll take the coyote hit, but that's what I got. Uh, and then I can chop up... What is this one again? Oh! Bones! I don't need bones right now. Um, I'll chop up this other stupid bird. Get out of here. Get out! Get out! Oh, it has to come out first? Oh, okay. It has to have a turn. All right. What the fuck did you just do? What? Went underground or something? Ay, ay, ay. Okay, well I can bring out the sparrow next turn. Until then, I got nothing going on. Damn it. If 
it survives. And it looks like it will. Stupid otter. During his opponent's turn was submerged to putting creature text on her directly. Okay. Uh, okay. So next turn I can start getting out too, as long as the Spiro's spar- spar- it's not a Pokemon. Sparrow stays alive. Uh, okay, good. I can start evening the scales a little bit, uh, but I'm gonna lose my sparrow next turn. I guess I could summon the wolf right now, but it doesn't do any attack. Might as well get, <clears throat> might as well get this damage while I can. Ugh. So bizarre. Okay. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Okay, now now we're kind of cooking with gas a little bit. Ugh, I need a lot of sacrifices to make anything work out of this, though. Because I need them both on the board at the same time. That would be fantastic, yeah. Close to combo time. Uh, geez. Okay, well they're doing three damage to me every turn. That's not really that bad. I don't want the stoke to get hit. Uh, and then I can put the cage wolf here. But I don't want to sacrifice the pack rat to do it. Oh, what an interesting match this is. I mean, I do kind of have a, a winning setup right now. I'm plus one damage on him, so I could just do this over and over. Yeah, I kind of won, I guess. Uh, until, like, maybe the stump gets destroyed, and then, I, well, there's no enemies stacked up there, so I don't know. Yeah, this is really, really bizarre. All right, well, whatever. I mean, it's not gonna be able to hit them anyway. Oh, that... Wait, what? It touched him, though. Eh? When a card bearing the sigil damages another creature. Oh, I have to do the damage. Gosh darn it. Okay. <laughs> I assumed way too much. Alright, whatever. So, it, it just... Does it really just move to the right and then stay there? Huh. You encounter a small outpost in the woods, tended by a mysterious woman. It was the traitor that the old trapper had mentioned. Oh, it does move back? Oh, okay. Does it move- does it loop back around or does it turn around? Move as long as there is space. Once it gets to the end, it reverses direction. Gotcha, okay. Back and forth. Cool, alright, thank you. Are you gonna give me some teeth for my pelts? Oh. Okay. Oh, that's rad. Okay, cards that are worth more than one blood. Empty space would be struck. A card bearing the sigil will move to that space and receive the strike instead. Okay. Like a wall card. Sick black goat. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take this goat. This is a good investment. Good blood investment. Although you have to protect it, right? Because you have to summon it one no, I guess you can you can sacrifice the same turn you summon. Yeah, let's get it. I don't know what the elk grows up into. Uh it's I feel like an elk would grow up into another sack of blood. Uh 
<laughs> that would be very good to sacrifice. So I'm going to take that too. Oh, that seems dangerous. Does this like remove cards from your deck, I guess? Let's see what this is all about. Oh, does this remove an ability? You intuited that the fate of the creature selected for this would not be pleasant. <laughs> I'm not crazy about this mantis, I'm gonna be real. Actually, no wait, I take that back. That mantis kinda saved me a couple times. There is I guess there is value in attacking something that can't hit you. Well, we'll go with this. The noble apostle. Bone Lord. Minor boon of the Bone Lord. I start with an extra bone. You shook off the viscera of the poor opossum and carried onwards. Okay, alright. You get power ups. Ah, oh, new, new color. A foul smell invaded your nostrils and caused your throat to seize. A hulking man sat by a brackish pond with his feet submerged in the dark water. He pulled a hook from a pile of rotting fish and rose to his feet. Yes, another mask. I am the angler. Go fish! Okay. I guess he'll hook, like, squares on the board. Know what it feels like. Alright, what do we got there? A flying, diving bird. Great. I don't know that I have a counter to diving. I can make it have no attack. Vogliani? Vogliani? One of those two. Thank you for the prime. Appreciate it. Nicely played. Thank you. This game looks neat. This game is neat. I'm having a I'm having a good time. I could summon the pack rat already, but I'm i I'm just gonna do two damage either way and have all these items. Oh, this was the bony bank. That's right. I don't need it yet. Oh, three damage, I forgot. I mean this goes twos. Oh, okay. I do tell you what he's gonna hook. Well, that means I might as well sacrifice this turn. Oh wait, oh, he just targets the most recent thing you put down, I bet. Okay. Well, I'll leave it then. Oh, what is this? Oh shit. No! <laughs> Crap! I got tricks. Oh, that's bad. Oh, they dive? Are you kidding me? Okay. Oof. Holy moly. Anything to. Okay, okay, alright. Ah, I don't need it yet, though. Um. Need it yet, but no, I don't need it yet. I could use it to block, but I 
There. I guess I can just pray that I get... Oh, jeez. Wow. I did not expect that to work. Play it out. Yeah. I, uh... I was like, I'll have a ton of blood next turn. I... I gr squeezed through that with, like, one damage to spare, I bet. It would have gotten real bad if I had to go through one more turn. <laughs> Strange larva. Look at him though. Come on, this has got to be the best card ever. This lazy boy. Death strengthens strengthens it forever. I say death strengthens it. Does it come back as like two two and then three three? I don't know though. Yeah, vibing larva. How can I not? How can I? How can I pass on that? That chill boy. <laughs> Self suck lord. Yeah. <laughs> Gator with his ribcage removed. Oh, Aroboros is broken. Is it like too good? Ooh, it's snow line. How chilly. I'm with the cost one. That seems kind of cool. Two blood card. Oh, magpie can fetch any card in your deck. Oh, that's that's useful. Dang, it's real nice. this, I guess. And a VIP spots left, is there a cap? Uh, I think there, you can have a hundred. I think I have enough unique chatters to have a hundred slots. And I, last I counted, I was in the, like, high thirties. I might be in the low forties now. So, there's, there's still space left. I will, uh, I am gonna start waiting the, the, the awarding, though. What's, what is what's coming out here? Eggs and a porcupine. All right, I'm curious curious what this fawn is going to turn into. No shucks, it's going to move. Darn it, it's going to oh, it's going to hit the porcupine. No, I didn't think about it. Oh well. Let's see what happens. Yeah, that was dumb. I didn't even get to see. Ah, we hope. birds on my hands here. Oh, those are big birds. Ow! Oh, no. Oh, shit. I don't think I have any items that can save me here. I think I'm boned. This will give me two damage. <laughs> That's it. That's all I get. Uh, yeah, I'm fucked. Ugh. <sighs> How'd a guy go from working out with Switch to looking this sharp? Just gotta, just gotta comb your hair a little bit. Oh, okay, Elk is actually pretty good. Ugh. I got, I got bopped. Cool, well, I was looking forward to combat, but that was, that was unwise. Go this way, try to get this item. Oopie! What 
Let's have at least three what? What the hell is that? Three squiggles? Damn it, I clicked through it. You give yourself the split manus attack. Yeah, but I don't want to get rid of the sacrifice uh, ability either. That's really useful. Just like a free, a free blood every turn. Three sigils? Oh, okay. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, because some of them have two. I'm gonna click on this. Definitely looks like a Lawrence game. I suppose so. Oh, yeah, I did it. That's really nice. Yeah, I mean, thank you, OJ dude. Every game is a Lawrence game. That that is the actual truth. I actually don't end. I don't play the most. Uh, I don't play a ton of card games, really. That's really nice, actually. Okay, I can't get I can't get bopped again, Not like last time. Okay, what's going on here? Okay, it's kind of the same setup, but... I have to do... So one turn they move up. I basically... Yeah, I have one turn to do two damage. These eggs before they turn into birds that kill me immediately. I don't have anything that can do two damage. I guess the elk turns into something that can do two damage. So I should summon that. So it's going to move to the right. And then turn into a grown-up. And then hopefully stomp the hell out of that bird or that egg. Uh, and then hopefully next turn I draw something that can do two damage. Or I put a, 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 a possum there. Okay. But it's gonna fly, so it's just gonna hit me direct. Guess I can block the porcupine with a frozen opossum. At least there won't be anything next to the alpha when it comes down, but that'll be something. Uh. I should have put the bullfrog here, what am I thinking? Uh, so I will do... Well, at least I'll take out the alpha. Bullfrog will do one damage, so that'll put me a little bit back towards center. But then they'll do... Is, are you flying? You are. Okay. Uh, I don't know what to do about the this bird. I think I might be screwed. Okay, no, I'm still attacking it. Ugh, okay. Okay, so I'll kill the raven this turn. That's good. This will still block. This is blocked here. I'll do two damage. So maybe this is just an even out the scales and... Wait for a second. Or I can... Sacrifice the... Does, does it count if I sacrifice this? I cannot. Okay, it has to be a living thing. Can't, got, can't drop blood from a frozen opossum. You said it. So let's see here. Sparrow will kill this. Skink will kill this. Means the egg will come up. Get an ant after this, though. Um. Uh... gonna happen gonna happen here I 
if I put something with one attack here, then I'll be safe. Because you're an egg. I don't... Can that... Does the egg transform and attack on the same turn? Because if it does, I might be... I might be boned. Huh. Not flying. No attack. The ant queen would have one attack, though. But I'd have to sacrifice these two, which would put nothing there. Maybe the larva? Or I could drop an opossum in front of the... Wait, no, the opossum's not gonna... Yeah, the opossum is not going to protect from a flying thing. Dang it! Well, I will do two damage and it will do one. At least next turn, so at least I'll come out one tooth ahead. Eesh. Okay, well, the elk came to save the day. Damn it, there's another raven, are you fucking kidding? Um. I think. I think I can take one more turn. This guy's gonna move up though, that might kill me. I don't think that, I don't think that's functionally gonna do anything, but that's all I've got. so close okay ah oh, jeez um Block this though. Hey, I just there's just too many flying creatures that I have I don't have attack cards to kill. And if I could have drawn a bone card that would have helped, but that's kind of it, yep. Womp womp. I guess now I got another card named after me. Such a phenomenal game. It's big brain time. It does make you feel pretty big brain. Um, but it also does maybe feel like they're, you know, with the randomness of the card draw, you just can't reasonably be expected to win every scenario. I feel like his twirly eyes. Ooh, giving me a little more lore. First run I cleared had such an OP build, it was great. That's usually how these games tend to go, right? Like, I remember the first, like the first, uh, what is it? Like, Dead Cells clear that I had. It was just like traps that were dealing such ridiculous damage. All I had to do was just throw them around, smash buttons. Risk of Rain kind of felt that way too.
Does this replace your previous death card? I don't know. That's a good question. I wouldn't think so. Does not replace? You can get any of your previous death cards. Oh, okay. Cool. Just generate a random face every time. <laughs> Ron John Typeman. <laughs> Stoat is not happy. Digging this game? I'm glad to hear it. Pretty groovy game. I like it. Oh, there's there's a piece I was using. Yeah, the sounds are real nice. The little woms and joms. Three teeth. Oh, yeah, I've been playing Breath of the Wild Master Mode with minimal UI. God, I forgot how lovely it is. Ah, it's so, so good. I uh, I started another playthrough on Switch, but then I lost my Zelda cartridge in an airport in Germany. <laughs> so now I'm thinking about trying to get it running on uh, on Dolphin because, yeah, some of the footage I've seen of that game running in high resolution is just jaw-dropping. Oh, okay. I want bugs. Let's do bug. Oh, God. That's gross. That's gross as hell. Oh, Simu, yeah. Uh, the, the thing I ran into, like, I got pretty far down the rabbit hole of, of setting up uh, uh, Breath of the Wild on an Emu, or Simu. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Not, uh, not Dolphin. Um, was, like, trying to figure out how to do motion control shit. Uh, and I, I know that you can, like, you can, um, pair a pro controller with it, and then you get, like, you get all the motion control stuff from that, but I need to get like a Bluetooth adapter for my PC. And I was just like, Ugh. that was just like the one step that was too far that made me give up on it at the time. Oh, interesting. Oh, I don't want that. A DualShock 4 works as well, okay. I guess I still, I think I still have one of those kicking around. Oh, all my squirrels dive. That's kind of interesting. I do not recommend trying the motion controls with the mouse. It's awful. Yeah, I, I would not. Uh, that's that. Like thinking about that is kind of what made me go like. <laughs> so, that's definitely where I gave up the first time. Streamer, I watch beat Breath of the Wild on Ring Fit in a 17 hour jogging marathon. Was that, uh. Super Louis? Super Louis? Actually, should take care of the. Okay, Eddie. Why do I keep doing that? I don't need squirrels. Okay, that's cool. I didn't know it would turn into a wolf after that. Are you telling me that you didn't share between you and this? No, I did. Yeah, of course I did. <laughs> Hello. You okay? Seem upset. 
Dude, why is this guy such a meanie? I don't understand this guy. You don't want to hit the tree? Everything's fine. Real gamers don't shower. Real gamers are gamer enough to uh, navigate life. Looking and smelling good while also maximum gaming. Think about it this way. It's real easy if you just spend all your time gaming. But what if you actually did all the other shit you're supposed to as well? That's gaming on hard mode. Okay. No way! Oh, that's cool! Alright, so you can... Piece together your own build? Huh. Ooh. Oh, do you approve of that one, Stoat? does end up moving pretty fast once you get all the buttons down. Oh wait. Ooh, STP Gaming. Thank you for the cheer. Uh, Batman 5500, thank you for the prime and welcome back. One of the most beefed up dudes I ever met used to be a pro COD player in his younger days due to shredded. Oh, yeah, the champion spirit extends to everything. Stinky is such a fun sigil. Yeah, it really does change up a lot of stuff. Uh, new one woo. Thank you very much for the sub. Ooh, enhances health. You know what? Go in there. That's a good frog. Call me Nui? Okay. So Popper Bruce calls me. You got it. I guess one is with the sigil and one is just normal. Let's do this new normal one. I can throw everything off. Hello. So mad, Stoat. Man, what's going on? You have three health. You'll be able to take this. Back on the board. Sorry, dog. That's just how this goes. Yep. Sorry. And he's really looking ragged. Oh, no. Oh, crap. I, I got that all wrong. Yeah, Stoat's gonna die. Ah. Thanks, bud. 
Yeah, Sto doesn't seem very emotional, but Sto's had a rough, rough ride so far, so I don't necessarily blame the guy. I'm waiting for the fireplace scene to like really, really, really f me in the b. Please no. Waiting to get effed in the B. I don't want to get effed in the B. There's no way they're going to eat corpse maggots, right? Anything change around the room? Let me check! I didn't know. I took a little spin around and didn't notice much. I don't know what this is all about. This thing right here. I haven't really interacted with this much. I've opened that. I solved all of these, at least the ones that I can find. This candle keeps getting lit. Oh! <gasps> I do relish snuffing out your excess candles before a boss. Perhaps you'll now enjoy it as much as I do. The smoke. Got a hidden card. And took that. Okay. Oh, there it goes. Bink. Oh. Vitally pride my special dagger from the paws of that squirrel, though you may wish you hadn't. What can I use it a dagger for? Now stab him. <laughs> Finally gonna win this stupid thing. Stab you in the throat. Oh. Okay. All right, that's a that's activated now, I guess. That's a dingled. Yeah, this is. I was getting pretty misty vibes. Yeah, for sure. The the graphic filter really helps. That one's only for card dueling. Card dueling, he says. Card dueling. Card duels. What the fuck is it? It is time to do 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 Prospector again, old stinky Pete. Yeah. Hello. Salutations. Or bones are awarded. Okay. All right. Doesn't cost anything to summon? You look different, Stinkbug. You look different today. Gank that mule? Yeah. Trying to trying to arrange it so that I can I can do some amount of ganking here. Five health though. Is this? So that's gonna take care of the coyote. I'll do one damage. Pack me will move and take another damage next turn. That's what that does. Aha, uh -huh, okay, all right. Okay. Ow. <laughs> Hello. Cracking. my eyeball back? Can't 
like Ugh. Okay. I'll do some damage. I can't see it. My eyeball bro <laughs> my eyeball's gone! What is it? Uh, okay, it's a snake. It's a snake. Oh, jeez. Stoats versus adders, that's just how it works, right? This makes sense. I do kind of want it to go another turn, so I kind of kind of appreciative of that. Uh, I can sacrifice can you sacrifice corpse maggots? You can. Okay, they have blood, apparently. Uh, that's gonna open me up to take damage. I mean I'm still ahead. There's really no reason to do this, though. I'll just leave it like that, actually. Yeah. jumped into the stream, but there seems to be so much going on in this game. Yeah, I carved out my own eyeball with a dagger. But, at least I get some cards. Mole Man! Behold Mole Man. Empty space would be struck. Okay, so he moves, and he can defend against air. Damn, what a good card. The Mighty Mole Man! <laughs> God. This isn't much fun if you're half blind. Perhaps you'd like to replace it. Do we get a free eyeball? Yay! Ooh, look at all these eyeballs I can pick. I have to go with the cyber eye. Yeah. Pop it. Oh my god. For real? Find salvation in Cuckoo Clock. Oh, sick. Yeah, let me uh, let me stretch my legs for a sec. I'm in the wetlands. Okay. Yeah, just a sec. Let me check her check check out here. Man, this is rad. Ooh. Nothing. Thank you, Mr. Wolf. Just having a little break. That's all. Oh, I can see cyber paint now. That's a, that is an interesting way. Oh, note the clock code, the numbers on it. One, four, and five. Oh, four, five, one, basically. That was in like that was in Guardians of the Galaxy, which was odd. I guess because the studio worked on Deus Ex crossover there. That was a fun little reference. Ooh. Yeah, it's the it's the immersive sim code. Deus Ex code. Or the I guess the what is the looking glass code? Really hope there's another Deus Ex coming. I do too. Uh 
I don't I don't imagine Square would just walk away from it, you know. They seem they seem pretty intent on giving things a lot of chances. In different forms sometimes. Damn, that's cool. Alright. Okay, actually, yeah, I'm gonna switch it up. I'm gonna switch up the game here. I'm gonna switch over to Doom Eternal. Uh, this game's super rad, though. I was- I wanted to get to, like, another, uh... Another story beat. And I guess that's what that- that was. So, that's kind of cool. Those little moments where it kind of punctures through the- the overarching story. Kind of reminds me of, uh, how Portal did it, too. Of giving you, like, here's a game mechanic. But the story happens, like, in another sphere around it. So, very, very cool. Alright, I'll be right back. I'm gonna use the restroom, stretch out a little bit, and uh, back with some more Doom Eternal. So I'll see you guys in just a second. Okay. 